Right, hello everybody, welcome to the, the CCL final. We've got perfect defense, which is going to be brutal. And uh, while that happens, this is going to be the worst entrance. Okay, I'll do the proper thing. So we've got PC versus Christopher, PC with dwarves. Um, he's got loads of guard and loads of mighty blow and some stand firm. A decent amount of stand, stand firm. How many? One, two, three, four, five stand firm. Um, the Ch Christopher with Chos with three stand firm and loads of guard and two claw palm. So it's basically a team full of uh, mighty blow versus a team with a couple of claw palm. Now one claw palm can win the game by himself. Um, Chris does have two. But you know with all this, I mean there's so much mighty blow isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six mighty blow. So... You know, it just it just it's gonna come down. There's gonna be a lot of dice involved, honestly. Thirteen players for Cruz, but with obviously a bunch of hobgoblins. PC's got up to fifteen. Uh, he got he's got the uh, nuffle altars, so he's got two uh, two players for ten k each and a wizard. I mean, Cruz uh, PC does have the wizard, so and four rerolls. I mean, do you know what? I might even favour PC in this. Uh, but it is going to come down to a lot of the dice rolls, honestly. Uh, whether the mass mighty blow beats the claw palms. They're both going to play great, I would imagine. Going to do very little wrong. So it's unless somebody makes a horrific error, I feel like it's going to be more about the dice. Now I'm going to get some breakfast. <laughs> préfère se battre entouré. This is a bit of a, <laughs> it's a bit of a cock up. What happened was um I had to lie down and fell asleep. So <laughs> um yeah that's the thing there's not so much there's not so much stamp firm. Hello everybody there's not so much stand firm on uh, on Christopher's team is there? And, and, you know, that is going to get uh, PC more hits in the exchanges, isn't it? Like, PC is looking pretty good for this, honestly. As long as... As long as the claw pump doesn't fire, but... The claw pump probably will fire, won't it? <laughs> Hello, Goliath. <laughs> He did have the four rerolls, so he can absorb that, can't he? I mean, obviously, you know, well, I'd say obviously. Um, K Fog surprised me how much he cared about the ball in one of his games that I saw. But that made me think maybe I should care about the ball more. But I think PC will be trying to get the get at the juicy hobgoblins this drive, um, rather than just like protecting the ball and scoring. I think he will be trying to get get those hobgoblins and see if he can get some, put some of them out. <laughs> yeah, setting the world on fire, Christopher, with his team choice. Very, very unexpected. <laughs> Not. Good afternoon, Goliath, and how everybody else has said hello. Sorry, I have been. It is a bit of a disaster, this, because it was like, as I say, I, uh, I slept in. He's going to have to dodge away from this guy, I guess. 
It's not nice, is it? But I guess you just dodge away. You don't want to just give him a free claw pump. You can't hit. Anyway, I guess you could try and fumble the fumble the bomb and try and hit him that way. <laughs> I think you just dodge away. On the other hand, I guess he's hitting one of your lowest value players if you don't dodge away. <laughs> don't be mean, Moradam. Uh, uh, you know, let, let's not say anything about Christopher. But I think it's... Um, I, I personally like to watch an independent cast rather than one of the people playing in a match like this. But um, I wouldn't have a bad word said about Christopher. Alright, well, he, he, he can hit the claw pom then. But it's a bit risky if he does, isn't it? I guess he does hit him though now that he's done that. push here is, yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem, isn't it? Because now he's going to, uh, he's going to get two claw pom hits. Well, because he can, now he can push, now by not using the stand firm, he can push him into there, which means he can't fend him. So he will get the claw pom this stand firm guy. And he might be able to, um, He's got guards, so you can claw on either of these, either of these two, because he's got the guards and the bulls. So he's getting two claw on hits next turn, which is pretty brutal. Il s'acharne sur ce pauvre joueur comme des halflings autour d'un sandwich. That's got a sting, hasn't it? I bet he was happy with himself that he was going to get the pile on him. Yeah, it's absolutely two of the top boys on on a PC. Purple chest and Christopher. Purple chests won millions of things on uh, Fumble, and uh, Christopher has obviously won millions of things on uh, CCL. And I don't know if he's won Ruble or what, but uh, certainly, you know, as far as Blood Bowl Two is concerned, Christopher's the man, and as far as Fumble's concerned, PC is one of the men. So it's pretty great. Had to do the GFIs. <laughs> Nothing you could do there, but I mean, I guess that balances out the dub schools for our PC. And now he has a he has a, a hit on a hobgoblin, so he's gonna. This is the thing, isn't it? Yes, he's got a hit on this Hobgoblin, and that is what I said is one of the things he'd want to do at the start of the half, but, it, you know, that splits his team and leaves him overpowered here and getting out claw problems. So I think I would have not done what PC's done here, and I think I would have concentrated on fighting over here. Now, of course, going this way does let him get forward, but he will be able to reposition with the bulls and stuff. So, not sure about that from PC. I feel like maybe he should be concentrating his efforts over here, but who knows? Who knows? It's um, you know, it's all it's there's more than one way to skin a cat. I mean, that is what I would have done at the start of the match for sure. I just really don't like this situation over the other side of the field with uh, the claw bombs going off and stuff. But I guess, look, if, if PC scores, it doesn't matter how many people get cast, does it? Four players get cast this half. He doesn't really care. 
as long as he scores and he's got the wizard for the second half. Oh, re-rolls the wanna and skulls out. Yeah, and that, that's the problem, isn't it? Now he's gonna get he's gonna get that flank. Um collapsed potentially with some decent dice. And you can run the ball back. Interesting. Right. Well, at least now I'm dressed. That's good. I'm getting there. <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, maybe he wouldn't have gone for it if the bull wasn't stunned, you know, so. What's this? Oh, fan favourite. Like, the fuck's this skill? It's fan favourite because he... This is his team. His chosen team. Of, uh... <laughs> hey, it's not wrong. You can want whatever, can't you? I mean, I think I think Chris Chris might even be thinking about getting this guy out, right? To try and uh, blitz with him. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate the blitz coming in from him. But then he's he's kind of he's not even giving up a hit either to do it, is he? So I think that's probably the right thing to do. It give it does stop a claw pom though. It, yeah, it means he hits the fender. Yeah, so it does stop him the claw pom hit. And he casts him anyway. Instant apple here from PC. Okay, not instant. Nearly instant. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it did stop him the pile, but it means he gets to punch him. No, he's just hitting him with a claw pom. Okay, I didn't like that, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I much preferred blocking with this guy you know because he's skillless it gets him on the guards it gets him out of the way and then the claw pump could have come in to hit him I really don't like the claw pump hit there personally it's just my opinion <laughs> but I thought the point of hitting him with him was to then hit him and then free up the claw pump Interesting. I mean, he can't pile on with him either, can he? Whereas he could have piled on if he blitzed this guy and knocked him over. Or even round the back. PC does not have any extra apples, no. His inducements were a wizard and two stars for 10k each. <laughs> yeah, he does put in a lot of hours, but I mean that that in itself is a skill, isn't it? <laughs> I guess he's gonna rackle the front guy. No, no, oh, he was gonna go for the ball, was he? Three plus one D. Okay. Well, I thought, when he put this guy in here, I thought he was going to wrestle him, which was kind of a decent choice, wasn't it? A 2D wrestle on the front there. Um, but I guess he was, yeah, he was hoping to pop it, and then maybe he's got the collection with his arch 4 guy. Okay. But this, this is the problem now, isn't it, for PC? I mean, this is exactly what I predicted. His guys are over here. You can't do anything with them. They can't get back. They're actually being held up. For fuck's sake, Four chores are holding up six Stop being walls. shit. 
and uh, he's only got four dwarves left, which are on <laughs> um, seven dwarves. And I, that's the thing, I didn't think he had to do such a risky play as a three plus and then a one D. I I feel like he could have just blitzed him with a wrestler or blitzed him with a claw palm. Would have put him in much a similar position, but, uh, you know, obviously this had a bigger payoff. Certainly not uh, not hating on Chris for, for his... For the the line that he took. <laughs> yeah. Chris is Chris is definitely you know, definitely one of the best coaches in CCO, isn't he? There's no there's no uh, no dispute there. Interest I don't know why PC put him on offence. I guess I guess to make sure he gets some use out of him. Like, you know, just use him as a long beard, I guess. He just wanted him as a number and not actually use his bombing capabilities. But I quite like bombing things. <laughs> like, he's actually pretty good. <laughs> Boomer, he's pretty good at bombing things. Like, the accurate makes less, uh... Less fumbles instead of more. So, like, what's he called, the other bomber? So, like a goblin bomber, isn't he? He's got stunty, so... Your normal bomber has got stunty, whereas he's got accurate. So he actually very rarely fumbles, and uh, he's just really good. Doesn't matter that he's much, much too. Hello, Agent Orange. Hello, Satyrtoad. And hello, everybody who haven't said hello. So I'm sorry, I was, I was busy. <laughs> he gets the knockdown to run away, and I guess he's going to try and link up with the rest of his team. Yeah, I didn't like that, that push from PC. You know, maybe I would have done the same myself as well when I was playing it. But watching. I didn't like it. I don't like it. He's pretty much all in on this dodge here, isn't he? I guess this dodge solves a lot of problems. Oh, but that was why he didn't want to do the extra GFIs. <laughs> Now, obviously, there was payoff in doing the GFIs, but he's got to make this dodge, hasn't he? He's just got to make this dodge. And I would have really want uh, the reroll of L to make this dodge. <laughs> he's won a lot. I don't know how many he's won. But he's won a lot. Hello, Aussie Viking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean PC. To be fair, PC wins like half of uh, half of fumble tournaments. <laughs> yeah, he has lost in the final a ton of times. Yeah, yeah. He probably. To be fair, Cruz wins about half of the finals he makes, but uh, he's made a lot of finals. Yeah. So here we go. I mean, now this is an easy two D on the ball, isn't it? Uh, actually, really lucky that you got this stun. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a 2 plus 2D on the ball. Um, no other real way to get guard in because his body's there. You'd have to block here for. I guess you could block here first and get another assist in there. This bull even could go double GFI in, I, I guess. But then, even then. Then you're making 2 pluses anyway. So you might as well just punch this guy. For no reason. <laughs> And then just do your two plus in it. Do your two plus. Punch him to there. And this guy's a long way away now, unfortunately. But you can get two bulls on the ball, basically around the ball. Which is nice, isn't it? I don't hit that. So do that block, see what happens. And then if you get the pow, you know, things can change. Like, like for example, if you pow, this guy can assist from here. And he's basing the two down guys. I don't I don't think he's just got the other bull, hasn't he? He's got the other bull. Oh no, he stood him up. But he has got this other bull still. He could just one D, fish for a pow. Only fails on a one, right? He could do the one D, and if he gets the pow, then he maybe does go for the bull pickup. Because then Instead of one, two, three, four, five, it's one, two, three, four. Gets an extra square afterwards. But I think the fact that 
I didn't realize this guy stood up. Maybe she want to block him. He's going to GFI to two, do you? Nah, he's, he can't GFI twice. That's mental. Do you go for the 1D? That stun's actually actually massive, isn't it? If that hadn't been a stun, he could have 2D there. He gets in there, gets a claw palm hit. Probably. No, it doesn't really. That doesn't even get him a claw palm hit. Oh, I get. No, it doesn't. That doesn't even get him a claw palm hit. That just gets him in the mixer. So he is going to go for the uh, bull pickup at the end. <laughs> gets him a 1D. <laughs> 1D hit. Wow. For a 2D claw palm. So really not not caring about the ball sack here. He gets lapel. I mean that was all, almost an automatic ball sack, wasn't it? To be fair. Don't think he re-rolls this with two. And yeah, and now, <laughs> now this bull being here looks very nice, doesn't it? <laughs> He's got two bulls right around the ball. These three are isolated on three as well. Um, no, I guess two on three, so he's got a bit... Oh no, it was... Oh, he's got stand firm. He, hit, he was unlucky. That was well, good from PC. Good from Cruz getting his stand firm there, or... Lucky, one of the two. That stops him getting him in. Hello, Zenai. Hello, Flicky Flack. I've got no idea, Kilmatronics. Um, I guess it's a PC thing. Um, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, isn't there? I, like, it doesn't make him wrong. All right. <laughs> but I personally would have made a pommer if I was like, like that to me is the point of a troll slayer is to have a pommer because obviously once they're down they can they're less likely they're not so good at getting foul with thick skull and stuff um, like obviously bludge bludge guard stand firm is pretty good but they just they, if you use them like that they get their armor rate exploited more don't they so I, I like to pom to protect their armor rate and have a pommer PC doesn't like pomming with dwarves so, you know, if you're not going to pom with dwarves, then you're not going to take a pom on your trolls, are you? <laughs> I mean, you could have taken jump up, right? Couldn't he? And then just gone pom. I would have taken jump up and pom, but he just literally doesn't like jump up. Yeah, he doesn't like it on dwarves. You might like it on other teams. Like if he was out to ever play Chaos, he might like it. Thank you, Flicky Flack, by the way, for posting my uh, my uh, Twitter banner thing. And seems we've got a bunch of people here. If you're watching, please. If you're watching on PC. Plea, and you've got Twitter, please take a few seconds to like this, to like my post there, it will help me out a lot, um, that would be very nice, thank you, uh, the winner is just the person with the most likes, so there you go. Yeah, that's true, Zakari, yeah, so he's probably out of the practice of using POM anyway. <laughs> One in nine's the pickup, and again, this is an easy bull blitz. I would have kept this guy more central for the recovery next turn, but, um, you know, it's not terrible that he hasn't, is it? He's got the dirty plate to pick it up and run away, hasn't he, actually? It doesn't have to do with the bull. But, I mean, it's obviously safe on a bull, but, but then obviously you want this guy bolted, don't you? So maybe you do just go one, two, three, and then leave the bull there, and then just go with the pick up with him and run away. Double GFI, whatever. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Quickly Fly. Yeah, I thought mine looked the most like a banner. Like, I looked at banners of, like, you know, Madden and FIFA and Match of the Day and stuff. Like, I looked at twi Twitter, Twitter banners and tried to make one that looked like a banner. Um, rather than just a bunch of shit. <laughs> oh, he's actually two, is he? Okay, yeah, sorry, the bull picks it up then. I get a free copy of Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> and it becomes the uh, twi the Blood Bowl 3 Twitter banner for a week. Yeah, so basing him is much better than going for that. I didn't see he was edge 2. So yeah, obviously you base him so that when you power him, he's, or even if you push him, he's still based. So. Yeah, that was, they, he wouldn't have thought for a second about picking up that with that. These guys are all kind of stuck, aren't they? He could do a one at the end. He could do a one D and then a two D and then maybe dodge out with him, or just all two Ds after the one D. But I think he goes the blitz now. Thank you very much, Zoom. <laughs> Is that the one, the Blood Bowl three, the the, the terribly drawn one? Yeah, yeah, he's he's pretty close. I'm behind a guy who'd like drew quite a good comic. Jim and Bob comic, that's that's winning. Which is, uh, that's number one, which is, you know, it's pretty good. I don't think it looks like a banner. Like, that's, that's, that's my only issue with it. I just don't think it really looks like a banner, but I think it's very good and original and everything, you know, that's very, very impressive. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't say anything bad about that at all. Um, <laughs> so he, I thought he might invest the reroll here because he does get to run away, doesn't he? Will he will he try GFIs or will he be burned after double wanting earlier? I feel like he might as well GFI, you know, because yes, it's a one in thirty six to fail, but you you're less you're more likely that he uh, that he catches you, and if you GFI away, then then you're away if he bolts you as well. So. <laughs> Underfoot massage. That's the one that tips it over the bed, over the edge. The bed, I don't like it over the bed. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised the end of turn because that I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded a one D there. Um, into two D C or a dodge. Ah, I can find it, Kilmatronics. If you search, if you Google Angry Frog. And there is there is a picture on the internet of a frog. Now somebody's taken that frog. You can even see a website address in the bottom corner. So somebody some professional, some professional artist like Skurametsu has taken this picture, isn't it? And he's got copyright of that. But people don't really seem to care about pictures they find off the internet, do they? <laughs> they just think, oh, it's on the internet, so I can use it, which isn't isn't the case. <laughs> Lovely hit for PC, that isn't it? Getting to punch the ball carrier there with mighty blow. Again, doesn't get hit him with pom because he doesn't have it. It's it's on there. If you if you if you click on my link, kill and like my link, and then after you've done that, <laughs> you can uh, you can click the like the Bob Ross kind of thing. Has got all of the things on. The Bob Ross tweet has got the results on, and it his one says angry slan doesn't like that you've withdrawn. And I don't understand what it means or anything. <laughs> Foot massage. Thanks, kill. <laughs> oh, and he gets it back. See, that's the thing. Look, if 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 Cruz had GFI'd away, he just couldn't have done this. Imagine if he'd made three GFIs. I think he. I think he had to. You know. I think. I, I can understand him not doing it because he was burned by the double one in uh, there, but I just think it's one of those things where you don't do it, and like most people wouldn't have done the GFIs. 
you know, obviously one at a time. But I think most people wouldn't have done the GFIs because they'd be thinking, ooh, one in 36 chance. But there's just more chance of PC bolting you and getting the ball back, isn't there? That's the problem. That is the problem. So I think he probably should have done that. But again, it's, prob it's one of those where a lot of people wouldn't, including myself probably. <laughs> <laughs> now obviously this is still a great drive for this is a great drive for Cruz because obviously that is that is PC's wizard gone on his own drive so it's still a great drive for Cruz whatever happens wizard's gone so now PC's almost just playing for overtime almost Oh, the dirty dwarf! <laughs> the dirty dwarf, one day. Disgusting. Nice that Cruz gets his, gets a rattler in here. Anyway, that's that, freeing his rattler is going to be nice. I think. I think it's going to be hard for hard for PC to score, isn't it? Um. But it's also going to be hard for him, I guess he just dodges to get 2D on the ball. <laughs> again, I guess he just dodges and gets 2D on the ball again. I guess the good thing for PC is that all these repeated hits on the ball have limited how much like claw palm action has been happening. But... At the end of the day, it's still a massive win for Cruz if he just stops this drive, doesn't it? If he stops this drive and the wizard's gone, that is huge. And Cruz comes in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, he's done the old, he's done the old space cadet rope a <laughs> Maybe space cadets onto something. Maybe all this time he was actually onto something. <laughs> oh, I I always do it. This is how I build all my bulls. Block, dodge, break tackle, guard tackle if I can. It only takes one one double. I break them I I build them all like that. I don't always go guard first, but sometimes you go guard first if you need guard on the team. But usually usually I go block on one and then he punches stuff while the other one scores and then he goes break tackle first. And then block break tackle the first two and then guard and tackle, yeah. Cruz often used to go mighty blow um, on his bulls, but he hasn't on this team. I don't know if that's just he's changed or not. But he would all I mean it makes sense obviously because they're fast and they get the they get the blitz things, but um when you've got guys like this, they want to do most of the blitzing, don't they? And they just need to knock people down. Who like you know, like this, obviously break tackle blitz here. You need to knock him down, so you do want tackle on them. But um Also oh, he, he hit with a rackler to free the dwarf. So obviously the rackler made it more likely to get the free up. Seventy five percent instead of fifty five percent. It's not true. <laughs> Disregard what I said there. <laughs> More likely to get the knockdown. But um, I still think I would have freed up the uh, Rackle and moved the Rackle in rather than him. I guess if he's going to get a hit, I don't know. I would have just had a different idea for it. Doesn't even get a hit with a claw palm. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I would, I would always go. Like, if I had the choice, this would be my five skill bull. Like you know, with one double. That's quite reasonable with one double. Um, I've done show hands before as well. Like I said, never take show hands in a bull, but then I've taken show hands in a bull myself because everything's situational in blood bowl, isn't it? Hello, little Baz. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's he doing? Does, does he just dodge away from him? Oh, blitzes him with a blitzer and then assists there and blocks. And potatoes upfield. <laughs> oh god, it's rough. That's a pretty massive knockdown. Because now he can 1D him. Or 2D him. He can 2D him now. And if he knocks him down, then he can 2D him. So that's absolutely massive there. Massive knockdown to set up a 2D. Potentially massive. <laughs> yeah, he's got... Like, it's something you'd like to do, but not in this situation, is it? Either the ball is in such dire straits. His drive is in tattered. He's in tatters. The ball is, is you know, super exposed. Yep, so he gets the knockdown. Oh my god, and a Kaz. Instant apple here from Cruz. Well, that, that previous knockdown was huge, because without that knockdown, he couldn't have made that block. And now he gets to dauntless him. And if he gets a push then in a knockdown, he can hit him as well. And he can knock him down and he can get the ball pretty safe, can't he? Well, not pretty safe, but somewhat safe. All the knockdowns, this great turn for PC, this. So many knockdowns that he needed. Maybe he moves the ball now, here now. First. So that if this goes wrong, well, if this goes wrong, he's fucked anyway. He can't GFI, can he? And he just moves through. Excellent recovery from PC, isn't it? I mean, obviously, he's been, again, he's been helped by the dice, right? Although you can say there are no dice. <laughs> that was like about four out of four knockdowns on like, no, three out of three crucial knockdowns. Oh, he's gone up here, interesting. This protects him from this hit, doesn't it? But puts more pressure on these hits. That was the only thing. Maybe he should have done this hit more first. Because that did put more pressure on these hits. Because obviously if he made these hits, this is this looks great. But by not making these hits, it does not look great. I guess he's still got Stan Firm in front. Wow, he does the uphill. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, like he had to. Now he's getting rackled on 2D, isn't he? Like, super easily rackled on 2D. Oh, no, he's not. This guy stood up. Okay. He's not super easily rackled on 2D. But he is super easily 2D'd by the ball. Well, maybe. <laughs> he's got to... Uh, he's pretty much got to knock this guy down, hasn't he? Gets the, this knockdown, he just dodges in and two Ds him, doesn't he? But he's only got one reroll left, so he probably wants to do whatever safe moves first that he can. Which is a 1D. <laughs> okay. Is he going to GFI in? Yeah, so he GFIs in, okay. <laughs> and alright, he hasn't stood this guy up. <laughs> hasn't stood him up or anything. <laughs> He's just like, Bosh, 1D, safe moves first. <laughs> Let's have this fucking 1D. <laughs> Maybe he's thinking of hitting round the back somehow. He can't, though. I guess he could. He could 1D into a 2D. Oh, he's hitting around the back with a bull. Okay, I still would have punched him first. Ah, oh, no, because if he pushes him, it's terrible. Oh, that's pretty. This is pretty good from Christopher, wasn't it? This is great from Christopher, actually. Great stuff from Christopher there. <laughs> yeah, that was that. That was pretty. That was pretty smart. Because yeah, obviously the push is terrible. So he didn't want to just put. He didn't want to hit him. I guess, and he couldn't. He, what he could have done is nah. No, that that was that was pretty great, wasn't it? Pretty great from Chris. So yeah, it was it was shit starting with a one D one D B, but actually the the payoff was there, wasn't it? And and that's what he got, so fair play. Fair play to Cruz. That's where 
what's he called, Art would have pissed himself laughing for 10 minutes and said that was the worst play ever, and then being like, oh, actually, it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it, it actually it was pretty good wasn't it so i guess he goes for the pickup here like he might as well right he might as well go for the pickup i think Yeah, maybe not, Dr. Mon Bosco. Ah, yes, of course, that's what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, I think he definitely, it doesn't matter. Like, go for the second. Maybe You probably go for the second dodge as well, even if you've burnt break tackle. Oh, it does free up the bu It does free up the bomber, though, which, <laughs> which is his best chance to stop your touchdown. <laughs> so maybe he just punches the bomber and dodges out the hobble. Dodge out the hobble first. Pick up, it's in a tackle zone, so not so much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Zakari. Yeah, exactly. It is one of those. Like it wasn't. It wasn't that much of a <laughs> of a of a uh, of a good art, but it's one of those things where the people have got something in the the coach has got something in mind, haven't they? So, so something that like that that looked terrible was actually great once you saw the whole plan, and uh, a lot of people are quick to jump on, on that. <laughs> so he's still got the break tackle. Obviously, you don't re-roll it. But I think. The only question was whether you re-roll the, the re-roll, the initial dodge. And whether you go for the second dodge without break tackle. I think he definitely, like, there was no chance of him re-rolling the pickup. And he had to go for it, didn't he? Like, yeah, he didn't have to. I guess he could have just punished. And, and also pushing him then would have stopped the second hit on him, wouldn't it? Which would have been nice. Like, punching him would have been pretty good. But this basically ends ends the chance of PC's touchdown completely now. He does have this guy. <laughs> this guy can run away. Get the Canoring threat out there. And then try to yark it to it. He could, he could throw it. He's got accurate. <laughs> he could just go pick it up in two tackle zones. Lob it to him. Fuck off. Easy. Yeah, he could have bombed all three, couldn't he? Could have bombed all three of these guys. I mean, pretty good. But uh, he's trying to get the edge three near the ball, I, th I think. This guy can... He really wanted to blitz this guy, didn't he? Because he wants to... He wants him to dodge away. So he's got a sure hands. And he wants him to dodge away to get the... Uh, I guess he would have still had the dodge away anyway, he's got too much guard around here. So he wasn't able to dislodge this one. Got a dodge with him though, hasn't he? He's just got to, he's got to get a scoring threat, I think. Because PC's chance of scoring, uh, Crucifer's chance of scoring is pretty low. Even though he does have this guy in his half. He's still got a relatively low chance of scoring. Ooh. Would have been nice to have Randall got him, wouldn't it? Cheeky wrestle. That does open up a bit of space for the uh, for the runner now, doesn't it? So the runner can dodge out. And he can dodge. I mean, he has to dodge out. Ah. 
I'd have, I'd have already done the dodge with a with a with a with a blitzer and and invest the reroll because it's the only scoring threat you've got to make it a scoring threat. Otherwise, Cruz gets to go as crazy as he wants next turn, doesn't he? It starts this Wednesday. See, now he's failed this. That's his, that was his one scoring threat. I really do think you should have done that dodge first. Yeah, Wednesday. There's the command. There is a command. 6 p.m. Paris time, which is what? 4 p.m. UTC. So, 5 p.m. UK. I'll be playing Death Roller Dwarves. <laughs> Hello, Magnus the Pink. So now, what, what's Chris going to do now? He hasn't got... I guess this guy is not free. And can't really get free. Like, there's limited players you can chain push, isn't there? Limited players you can get free. Does he run all the way around and hit, hit this guy and chain him to there and then go out? That seems shit. Oh, he, he does that but then picks up with a hobble. hobble. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, something like that. I guess that works. He's got to make a GFI, hasn't he? Because he's in the way. He has to do the GFIs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. He has to GFI here. No! What the? Is he just going to run him down then as a, as a receiving threat? I guess he just runs him down as a receiving threat. Yeah, okay. I guess that's fine. I would have liked to have GFI'd here though. I think on three, four, five, six, seven GFI. Yeah, I know he's moved seven. He's still in the way though, isn't he? <laughs> like, you know, he's still in the way. Now what does he do? Three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, or what? Like, and he, the, 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 the edge three is this side. I think he had to GFI there. Or well, he can go this way. He started an extra two plus, I didn't, I didn't like it. <laughs> like, I'd rather do the 2 plus with a built in reroll. Ah, I guess he's got dodge. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, it wasn't a tackler. Alright then, it's 6 and 2 threes. I still would have rather had him there, though. Like, I would have rather had him there to protect against the dwarf running around. And then he could have tried two dodges. That was a that was an unfortunate. There's no bribes, no no bribes. He was 170 TV down, so he got Boomer and uh, Barrick Far Blast and a Wizard, and he had to use the Wizard on his own drive to not lose. <laughs> and uh, he's going to be losing Boomer as well. So Boomer has not boomed. He just used him as an extra guy, I think. So it's looking pretty rough. All the dwarves, yeah. Hello, Matthew Nador. 
Um, it's been a very good match. Both people have played very well. Uh, PC has been under the cosh. He hasn't got any removals at all. I don't know, he did do one, actually. I'll tell a lie. But he hasn't really got anything going on offence. He did split his team early, and he's been paying the price catching up ever since then. Bulls have been running around hitting the ball a lot. Um, but, you know, PC has managed to play well enough that um, Cruz hasn't been able to score on him. But he has had to use the wizard <laughs> for that happen. So it's definitely looking pretty bad for, for PC, to be honest. He's down, he's used his wizard. And now Cruz gets to receive him in 1 0. Cruz gets to put all re rolls in. He doesn't need to think about overtime, just has to put in his re rolls to, to win in normal time. And he's got claw pommers to, to just roll him as well. Yeah, boom, Boomer is good getting an extra man for 10k, is obviously. Like, even if you never boom with him. Even if Boomer never booms, he's still a reserve for 10k, which is pretty good, isn't it? But I mean, Cruz hasn't made much damage either. <laughs> he's made one Kaz, which was Apod. And PC's made one Kaz, which was Apod. So neither of them's done any damage. But now that it's like kind of the irrelevant last turn. Oh, it's not irrelevant. He can still score, can't he? Bull, especially. Probably just blitzes him. Ah. Blitz him and then pick up in two tackle zones. That's probably the best play, isn't it? Blitz him and then pick up in two tackles on hand off score. But that, that's my that's my zero thinking play. Also, he can block him and then uh, he can assist and he can two D claw pom him. That's definitely go for this hit. I'd definitely go for these two hits before trying to score. To be honest, because the claw pom hit can win you the game, can't it? I mean, not really win you the game, but guard stand firm. Mighty blow is is a good player. So I'd probably want to take him out. Yeah, I think you just blitz, blitz with him, don't you? Go for a push. Oh, he didn't get a push. I think he did it the other way. Okay. Interesting. He had a plan for this guard somehow. Wow. Oh, he's gonna pass it to the bull. Okay, yeah. So he, he he was trying he was trying to get the knockdown, then bring in the guard somehow. Okay. Yeah, okay, just passing to him makes sense. And that would he would have had the three plus pickup. Yeah, it was just gonna be a three plus pass or something, wasn't it? Uh, it's fan favourite, Magnus the Pink, because Cruz won uh, won CCL last season, and he got fan factor on a guy, and that fan favourite, not fan factor, fan favourite on a guy for winning CCL. So yeah, this is pretty rough for PC, even though, even though he <laughs> he hasn't taken any cars, his reserves don't matter, and uh, you know he's got the claw palm hits now, Cruz and. He's got a dirty player as well, still. Yeah, I, I didn't know what it was at first. <laughs> um, it's on the thing, it's like basically an extra fame on like kickoff table results. And not even basically, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> so, I don't know who's got the fame. Cruz is, so, Cruz has effectively got a fame of two. Because of fan favourite. So, yeah, it's a really nice icon, isn't it? Yeah, a really nice icon. I like it. Alright, I've got to link this again. I've got to link this again, everybody. If you're on Twitter, <laughs> He's called fan favorite. I didn't even realize. <laughs> if you've got Twitter, please go there and drop us a like. 
<laughs> Fan favorite rug. <laughs> <laughs> I love Monty, that's pretty good. <laughs> Ivan, he always says he's Ivan player, doesn't he? But yeah, the wizard's gone. The uh the stars are gone. <laughs> and the but the bomber's gone. It's a tough ask, real tough. He's got more TV on the pitch, hasn't he? Because he's got two. Like, not only is he 170 TV up, he's also only got 80 on the bench. And PC's got 140 on the bench. 150 on the bench. So he's he's got even more. It's just looking really good for Christopher, isn't it? Thank you very much, Zoom. And everybody who has liked it. What are we on? 50. 50 versus 45 and 59. A blitz! Oh! And Chris didn't defend against the blitz! Oh my god! There are dice in Blood Bowl. Who knew? Who knew that there are dice in Blood Bowl? Wow. That is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. That, I mean, yeah, you know, like, I, I, he hedged against the perfect defence, didn't he? Like, by having these guys up, but... Or just a central kick. But, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty strange setup. Um, I guess it's I guess it's hedging against perfect defence, but... Yeah, terrible, terrible anti-blitz. Thank you, Matthew Nador. Of course, only if you like it. I'm not asking people to uh, unfairly influence it. I'm just, uh, I'm just publicising my entry. <laughs> Although I personally think mine's the best. <laughs> yeah, he's got to catch it. Yeah, yeah. Touchback's terrible. Touchback is just he loses. Like, pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> pretty simple is touchback is a loss here. But he's still got to go all in because he probably loses anyway. So there's nothing wrong with go like you know sometimes people overcommit on blitzers and lose because of it. He's got no choice here. I mean, he, he could still not catch it and have five out of eight scatters be all right. But um, you know, so there really is a low chance. What three and sixteen of him of the touchback? But he caught it. He caught it, and that's looking pretty great for him, isn't it? It is Stan Firm and Fend, yeah. Yeah, PC likes it, because people get stuck as to how to deal with him, don't they? They're like, you know, he can choose whether he gets pushed at all, whether you, like, you know, <laughs> you know when you put, punch him that you're going to stay where you are, but you don't know on a push whether he's going to move or not. And obviously it does protect him against claw palm. Um, that, in, that in itself is worth a skill really, isn't it? Like, what else are you going to take? You know, kick or piling on, basically. PC doesn't like piling on on dwarves, so he could have taken kick. But, you know, Fen does help you against pylons. Flip me, guys. And he is uh, denying himself a claw palm hit there, isn't he? I guess <laughs> for some reason prioritizing the ball now <laughs> does he does he blitz the runner to stop like the reconnecting of the team that's the question isn't it the kind of obvious move is to blitz one of these two guys uh, but if you blitz him or him then he can kind of stop the uh, stop the coming back a bit can't he Maybe that's more valuable. Yeah, exactly physics. Yeah, that's that's that that's exactly his his reason his rationale. You could also just rackle this this troll slayer like that's fine, isn't it? But uh, I feel like blitzing him or him might have been. I mean, he can't blitz him. 
he could have only blitzed him by uh, putting the guard in below and hitting him with claw palm really he could curb on him he could curb on him he could rackle him but I would really want to I would, I would really want to split them to stop it just being a second defensive try for, for PC that's what I would want to stop right now Yep, so he is doing this, like, I mean, this was the kind of, like, the obvious safe play, was to blitz one of those two. Boo! But I'm not sure it was the best move. But Necropons, he had 11 players. He had 11 players. And... He could have defended against the Blitz, couldn't he? And he just didn't. He, d he could have defended against the Blitz better than that. And he did not. Yeah, I feel like I'd have just brought one bull, you know, brought the bull back. Put him somewhere. Get the bull back and then... Uh, and that covers him pushing down. And then, like... This doesn't really matter. I think getting him would have been better person. Or him. This would have been pretty good. Like, you could have just bull blitzed him, couldn't he? And then have a bull tagging the ball. Puts him in a bit of problems. Or the stand firm could have been basing the ball. He could have he could have had the bull in there and he could have blitzed him. I just feel like he should have stopped the reconnecting. Rather than stopping the push. Because I think the push is not scary. Whereas the reconnecting is. <laughs> what are the chances? He did indeed, Sakari, yeah. Now, three stuns is still pretty brutal, isn't it? Um, so that was a pretty decent turn from Cruz, although he didn't remove anybody. The three stuns is pretty... Uh, pretty strong. But, I mean, he could put guard in here. And he could blitz him and then run back and he could block him. And you can reconnect up here a little bit. Haro Pedro. <laughs> Very good, Oriolensis. <laughs> oh, man. It is, you know, it's obviously those kind of graphs of look and stuff are all pointless, but. You know, it can be good to think how unlucky you were and then look at it and then think, yes, I was really unlucky. <laughs> or whatever. Like, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? It doesn't mean anything. There was indeed a blitz, yes, that field. And a completely undefended against blitz. Cruz uh, did not defend against the blitz. At all. Yeah. So I don't think he needed to go in there because he could have just blitzed him by himself. He's not blitzing with a ball carrier. And he's not blitzing with him either. Maybe he could have done the blitz, couldn't he? I don't understand where the blitz comes now. Does he one D blitz with him? Okay, so he blocks with a with a runner. Okay, ah, okay. Oh, clever PC. And then if you've got the not, so you can blitz with him and then run into here, and then he can block. He's not blitzing. <laughs> I think I like the blitz, and then GFI into there, and then two D him. Zero zero final after overtime. <laughs> Hello, PTK. And he goes for the one. PTK in the house. Yeah, he's not one deep. He's not one deep blitzing, is he? Yeah, he could have. He could have blitzed there and then gone in there. I like this blitz more though to get him in there. Or just 
blitz with, I don't know, block with the other guy and then blitz with a runner and dodge away. I don't know. Not what he did. <laughs> Little D's wet dream. I mean, he didn't blitz at all there. I feel like he should have blitzed just as an option with some player somewhere, shouldn't he? There was a blitz, our Yeti. There was peace. Uh, Cruz did not set up for the blitz whatsoever, and there was a massive blitz. And now PC has not protected the ball at all because he just didn't blitz. He didn't make a he didn't make a blitz action, <laughs> so he's completely <laughs> exposed the ball, which was bizarre. But there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Can't get the Rackler in, can he? Not realistically. I think he just blitzes with the uh, with the super hob and picks it up. I don't know, the Rackle could go up here, couldn't he? And then he could punch him. That would be okay. The core, the curl palm. I guess you could just move him up there just because he's in a good spot there, isn't he? This is a better spot. This is this is the greedy spot going there for the extra hit. Oh you've got to hit anyway. In that case it would, that was really stupid. Yeah, of course he's got guard. He's got guard. So he's got the two D anyway. So yeah. Not even a GFI, he's moving seven. Do you just go straight forward? Or do you keep him in contact? I think maybe you keep him in contact. Double GFI to pick it up. Maybe, because he's got guards on it. He's, it's almost kind of like screened, isn't it? You have to do the GFIs. <laughs> he rolls another one on the pickup. <laughs> That's a lot of ones on pickups he's rolled. But yeah, I'm surprised that again, you see, like I would, I would have expected PC to have like used his blitz to link up with his team, and he, he didn't, did he? He left that he left that hole in between his team that that Chris just walked through. Very nice hob, yeah. This is real, really tough for PC now, isn't it? What's he got to do? Block there, get this guy in here, block him, chain forward his blitzer. That's what he's got to do, isn't it? Oh, he stood him up. Oh, man, that's horrible. If you could have powered him and then got him out, that would have been lovely. Maybe you should just dodge this guy rather than blocking. I think dodge into there. And could he even hit them? Three, four, five versus four, five, six. No, he couldn't have done. <laughs> oh, no, six. It'd been a one D. You could have one deed him to get the guard in there. Nah, probably best just a one D without tackle or rough, isn't it? Yuck. He can hit he can hit him. He can't do anything afterwards. <laughs> oh, so you could have hit him, so you could have got two D, yeah. I think you probably should have just dodged and got in there for the chain. Even though obviously the four plus dodge is terrible. I think it was maybe his best chance. I think it's probably his best chance. Couldn't get rid of the guards. I'll claw the guards. And now he's strength five, so. He's got a uphill of blodges. So that's just terrible, isn't it? You can't do that. He's got five to Crucifer's four. So. Chris has got the ball and outnumbering him and outstrengthening him with the two balls. 
So he should be able to mop up this situation somehow. And uh, scoot off with the ball. It's not easy, I guess. There is a lot of guard around and a lot of stab firm. So he needs to roll some pals. Got a pal and another pal. <laughs> he doesn't even have to power the bull now, does he? Because he can just two plus away. Yeah, I mean it's not over, but it's it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good for PC. I think it was imperative that he got his team back together on that side, like in the one blob, and that that not blitzing cost him. Can only tag him. So yeah, this is fine as Dio would say. I'm surprised he didn't just punch this guy, because he might have powered him. I don't know what his plan is. After that. I guess dodge the dodge the ball. Try and get some more stalliness out of it. Just equalising the numbers of there. Uh... I mean, you might as well stall, obviously. There's, there's no reason not to stall. But you do feel like a touchdown at any point is going to win it for Chris now, don't you? After, after PC's drive failed when he had a wizard. <laughs> it's going to be tough for him to succeed against not a wizard like with, against not a wizard without a wizard I guess if he pushed him that would do I mean it was nice the two plus dodge away wasn't it if he got the knockdown there And these are all, all the stand firm. Well, not all the, the one stand firm from Cruz keeps all, and his NPC stand firm keeps this all. Like all, so it is all the stand firm. It just keeps all these one on ones. <laughs> Somebody needed a removal sometime, didn't they? That's what. <laughs> that's what either team needed. <laughs> like it's crazy that that Cruz hasn't removed anyone, but he's barely been able to claw pom. Like the Blitz uh, took away his claw pomming, hot claw pom action. Oh, oh he's filled G if I up the arse of the ball. Double ones it, and what a view. <laughs> I think the, the Blitz with the ball's pretty good, isn't it? Because if, uh, if you fail it, your failure state's better than uh, than otherwise. Like you don't you don't want to double on the dodge, do you? So you can you can fail this dodge, and he's, at least he's still got the ball. So he's for sure gonna blitz. I'll try to blitz him free. Does the GFI for the better angle as well? Outrageous. Where does he go? Does he stand on the stall square? No. 
One forward cruise. <laughs> Oh, okay, just gonna try and. Why not one back then? If he was only gonna do that, he could have gone one back even. Couldn't he? Could have gone one back. Oh, I guess that's okay. I had done that, I wouldn't have had anyway. But then it didn't matter being there either, did it? So maybe one forward, doesn't matter. Picking hairs in it. <laughs> but if there were, if if uh, if you know what's it was that guy? Magnus Carlsen played Blood Bowl, he'd know the exact square for this. Like there's so many squares you could go to and none of them are really scream out at you anything, do they? Like one's as good as the other somewhere, but like obviously you wanted to go as far away as possible. So if you wanted to hit me after GFI, but looking real tough for PC. Yeah, I think it's a pretty great team actually. He's got two claw palm. He hasn't got any. He hasn't got any strength ups. He's got. A, he's got a sexy hobo. He's got a sexy bull. And he's got two, two claw pommers. Like it's. It's not. It's not amazing, by any means. But it's. It's certainly. Certainly fine. And it's not even two claw. It's two claw palm, isn't it? That's the thing. It's like, if you only had claw mighty or whatever, but he's got two claw pommers. Which is pretty strong. PC having to roll all the dice now. Just to even stay in it. I think Chris will feel confident about stopping a four turn touchdown. But then also he can just dodge and screen, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. He can go there, he can have two hot balls back. Bulls back, like he can defend, he can stall pretty easily. Can't re-roll that, can he? He needs his, uh, he needs his re-rolls for his own drive. If somehow he gets Crucifer to score early. So what can he do? He could go one, two, three, four, five, six with him. He can just punch him and screen with these two, and he can just run away. And he's got loads of options, to be fair. Yeah, ch chores are really good. So yeah, he's got a full he's got a full little cage from here, hasn't he? Move seven. Gets to stand there. Gets to push him and then run around. We didn't even need to do a crazy screen. You could just make a full cage. Well, I say full cage, you can run around the back for a 1D, but that seems terrible. Oh! He hasn't piled on, has he? This is like his second pile on the match. He's not even piling on either. Outrageous. Like, he hasn't got to pile on with, uh, <laughs> with like, going after the ball so hard on, on his defence and then on offence, having to go after the ball so hard because of the blitz. So he hasn't had the chance to tee off with the claw palms. Funny enough, the masked mighty blow versus the claw palm, and it's which one's dice triggered and neither's dice triggered. <laughs> it 
it was just about mostly about having bulls, really. <laughs> it was mostly about having bull centaurs and PC kind of splitting his team both halves, really. Absolutely nothing, Orange says. Oh no, you get some science. Some absolutely worthless uh, currency. Um, but apart from that, it's just like, you know, the, the glorious uh, adulation of the Blood Bowl community who will say, wow, wow, you are a big brain man for winning this. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not something as cool as this uh, as this banner that I've made, which if you like that, you could get me a free copy of Blood Bowl, 2, Blood Bowl 3, so please drop us a like there, if you don't mind, uh, and if you like it, of course, there's uh, other people have done ones, but, uh, you know, I'm re very happy with that, so please... Drop us a like. <laughs> a trophy with your name. Yeah, Chris gets money. To be fair, Chris gets money because he's in the ass. So he's in yeah. He's in. He's deep inside Yak's ass. So <laughs> I don't know if PC's in Yak's ass. So um, if PC's in Yak's ass, then uh, there will be some money on the line. Or maybe he just said that to get his name on the post. <laughs> nah, you don't have to use the ass, uh, the ass thing. What's this Fender's bear against piling on? What was this? <laughs> License to auto for late. <laughs> Any idea why Fender have to stand firm? Yeah, yeah, some, someone asked earlier. It's just so, you know, gives you more control, doesn't it? I mean, fend, it, obviously the main benefit is against piling on, but also, you know, there's times you want to fend and there's times you want to stand firm, so... Generally, stand firm is better against uh, against agility teams and fend is better against bash teams. But there's times you want, there's times you want to uh, stand firm and punch back, and there's times you want to fend and uh, go away and assist or whatever. Well, there's the stand firm. So, Chris needs a 1 in 36. Oh, hoo -hoo, he rolls another one. Does he stall it or does he just score and give PC three turns? Probably stalls again, right? You can stall in the corner here pretty safely. He's on the stall square. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's on the stalls go. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. That's a hard one D, doesn't it? Tackle. Really hard for him. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, out range of him. So yeah, it's pretty safe, isn't it? That's a pretty safe stall. Dof, 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 dof. Yeah, claw palm there, obviously. Not not so much pylon, but claw palm, yeah. But it is handy, like just you know, uh, Stone Troll had a team where like everybody had uh, fend and it is pretty good. Like it is pretty good. I, I've I've taken fend on dwarfs, and you know fend can be good sometimes when you movement four and agility two. Being able to uh, free yourself up with a fend is good, and also there's lack of other good options, isn't there? PC doesn't like piling on, so his only other real option was kick. So PC's just trying to get himself a two turn chance now. That was a 4 plus dodge though, wasn't it? That was a 4 plus dodge to get himself a... Get himself a 2 turn chance. Yeah, pro, but I hate pro. Well, I guess you could take pro, or dauntless. Like, there's a few things you could take, but... None of them are really exciting, are they? 
Like Dauntless can be good because they do struggle against high strength teams a bit. So I wouldn't have hated Dauntless or Kick. Or I mean I don't like Pro, I wouldn't I wouldn't have taken Pro. Gram, I guess that's nah, rubbish, isn't it, Gram? <laughs> Pylon. Pylon's the big one. Oh he he, he skulls out against Claude, does nothing. <laughs> He can claw pom this guy, irrelevant claw pom. A cheeky irrelevant claw pom. <laughs> Especially with move four. Shadowing gets a lot better in uh in in uh Shadowing movement four is is better in Blood Bowl twenty twenty. As much as everyone's been shitting on shadowing because uh you know, obviously it's better with fast movement people to make it less likely. Um, now, a dwarf shadows a gut runner as well as a gut runner shadows a gut runner. So that's very interesting about Blood Bowl 2020. But no, not shadowing. <laughs> Cruz's claw has been pretty awful, yeah. Made one cast in the entire game. Uh, you roll a Dyson on a six, you shadow them basically, and then you add you add your uh, you add your, the difference in movement if you're faster. So a a gut a shadows a gut run a six, but a tree man shadows a gut run a six as well. <laughs> yeah, it's worse most of the time though, mongoose. Like it's literally worse most of the time. So. It's like tentacles. Tentacles are mostly worse, but now a uh, a chaos warrior with tentacles holds a griff overworld the same amount as a goblin with tentacles would. <laughs> so like, you know, it's just weird. So yeah, Chris going for the stall. I'm not so sure about going for the stall because honestly, I feel like. You know, PC's drive was so bad. Not that he played it, you know, not that I'm saying he played it bad, although I didn't agree with his push down the side. Like, PC struggled to score because of the team being better as well, wasn't it? It wasn't just like, it wasn't like, you know, not, don't take it the wrong way. PC's team is better. Uh, sorry, Crucifer's team is better, so like, um,. Ooh, shouldn't he have pushed him to here? Wouldn't that have been better? Because now he's just got to dodge with him, I guess. I don't know. Um, less passing play, yeah. Yeah, exactly, a two-turner. So I, I would have probably just scored and let him try the two-turner because he struggled so hard with an eight-turner with a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I would have probably let him try the two turner. Not that I would disrespect PC skills, just like the team, isn't it? Like, you know, he's got he's got the two bulls, um, and he's got the edge four guy, like he's got good tools to stop a two a dwarf two turner. Uh, there won't be no passing players, but there will be less, yeah. Yeah. I mean just the fact that, you know, the old, uh, the old elf, you know, passing between each other will be, will be less. Vanity passing will be less. Well, this is rough for PC, isn't that? Was a good move by that was. I mean, that was a good move by Chris to get over here and have the all the support on that, but. Um, Does he uphill and then dodge through? For a 1D? That might be his best player. I do feel like pushing there and following is better, but I mean, I don't know.
<laughs> yeah, it's a lot of guard, yeah. yeah it's gotta be the uphill, hasn't it? Because. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he went for the 5 plus 4 plus dodges! Holy shit! And they've got a tackle hit on it. Oh man. Oh baby. Now he gets another 1D, doesn't he, if he wants? Or does he try to run around to get an assist? Because, <laughs> like, that, that's stopping him a bit, isn't it? Or does he just try and tag somebody or. Like, make the touchdown harder? I guess he just leaves him, right? So he's got a stand firm guard of there. It's just really lame, though, isn't it? Like, this is pretty easy. I guess he's got two. He's got him sandwiched between two stand firm. Maybe uh, the runner would have been better with a GFI here. Maybe. I don't know, though. He's moving with seven, isn't he? Probably not. Ooh. Was that a good idea or not? Probably not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's just a two plus with a reroll now. I think I think he would have been he was better off not taking that block to tell you the truth. I think the score was terrible and the push wasn't good. But I mean hard to say again, isn't it? There's like it's a pretty rubbish situation. But this is just a dodge, isn't it? In fact, might not even have to dodge, still. I mean, he had to stand firm, so he he, he had to, you know, he, I think I think he had to not block there. Yeah, the rules were ill thought out, in my opinion, Magnus the Pink. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the sandwich was both stand firm, so I think that the sandwich was better. Because, you know, trying to get Chris to, to roll pals to get out is better than not. <laughs> like, obviously, one time in six, it was great getting the pal. So it, it may well have been again, you know. Without without a Blood Bowl supercomputer, we don't really know if the, if the block was better. Three dice? It wouldn't have been three dice. It would have been interesting. I think it was wrong, but I don't know. <laughs> because you'd have to work it all out, wouldn't you? You'd have to like work out all of the maths. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, did Jordan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he plays a lot of chops. Like it's incredible the uh, his ability to constantly play chops. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't care for blitzers, but uh, he'll set up to prevent the riot. Obviously, he knows PC isn't going to do the move six one turn, and he's pretty prevented that as well, hasn't he, by having the guys here in the corners anyway. I guess maybe he could do with a with a frenzy. Maybe you could do the move six one turn with frenzy, but probably not. <laughs> probably not. Movement six one turns with edge three are, are uh, pretty pointless. 
So he pretty much just he's just pretty much just got to defend against the riot, hasn't he? <laughs> Well, he, he, he's often taken mighty blown balls, but yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, it's fun playing the game, isn't it? Trying to win. I certainly have more fun with dwarves than I do with goblins. <laughs> I probably have more fun with dwarves without a roller than I do with a roller. <laughs> oh, well, cheering fans. No, no, he could have done it on this guy. He could have just blitzed him. And got him forward to here somehow. He could have done it. I mean, it was super unlikely. <laughs> I think they'll probably give it to Cruz. In that, uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't eat these. It, it, it eats them in spin games, Cracker Toe Arcade. It's only spin games that it eats the match. It doesn't eat the matches in there. Ones where poor people come for So <laughs> the server will not eat the match. Congratulations, Christopher, for yet another, yet another victory for Chris. And yeah, it was a good effort by PC. I mean, PC did have worse teams like. Unbelievably, he, he got, you know, Cruz had called dice, didn't he? Cruz didn't make, he made one removal in the entire game. Um, and he got blitzed on. So, <laughs> so Cruz had pretty cold dice, but then also PC had pretty cold dice as well. 8 AV breaks to 5 is like crazy. That, like, that is crazy. That's what you would have expected for like a half, not the, <laughs> not the entire game. I mean, maybe he's not even a half from Christopher's, but um, it was weird because it was actually. Although it was like bad for Cruz not getting to tee off in the first half, it was good because he had PC under the cosh anyway and got him to blow his wizard, so... Yep, well played both. And congrats, Cruz. Commiserations, PC. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.